you for tuning into KCO's Passing the Torch series. Today I try and answer the complicated question of are marriages made in heaven? Let's start with an easier question. How does one really plan to protect their assets and wealth in case of matrimonial discord? The natural answer that comes to mind is a prenuptial agreement or a prenup as we call them. Does India recognize a prenuptial agreement and is it valid and enforceable? Strictly speaking, no. The rationale being that marriages and family laws in India are a matter of public policy. Therefore, parties can't really contract in and out of it and the court decides the remedies in such matters. However, this is fast changing. Courts today are increasingly giving importance to an arrangement between the husband and wife on how they will divide enjoy and own property in case of separation, especially on mutual consent. What is important to note when you draw up a prenup is when you enter into such an agreement. Certainly avoid executing a prenup on the eve of marriage. It's always beneficial to plan and execute in advance. What is set out in a prenuptial agreement is also important. For instance, Matters such as guardianship and child custody should not be discussed and it is the court's prerogative to rule on these subjects. What is typically included is that property belonging to both spouses prior to marriage or received as inheritance or gifts from respective families will be regarded as separate property. The couple typically determines what assets will be jointly owned and enjoyed. Another key question is that, that comes up is both parties must get independent legal counsel and also have proper representation and understanding of the financial assets and the obligations that such an agreement casts on them. A, another strategy that is becoming increasingly important to consider is where one registers the marriage and what is the matrimonial law. If the parties are likely to move to a country outside India, then balancing the cross-border laws also becomes important. That, that is why today the impact of or the good practices from countries like U US, UK and other civil law countries has also become crucial. A neat solution uh, to a prenuptial agreement can also be a prenuptial trust where the family sets up a trust for assets that they wish for their child to enjoy and future generations from legal wedlock.